Alright, so we just finished our installation process here, and so what we need to do now is actually reboot our system. <clears throat> this is, again, the guest, uh, <laughs> it's the guest operating system on the uh, guest operating system, which is on my host machine. So we got a couple of layers here. So this was uh, an error, was not able to connect. That's actually fine. We'll close this because um, this should actually... We will turn this back on. We'll click on run and go to open. And the reason we're gonna do this is because right now we actually know nothing about this machine. So when we log in, we're gonna basically find out the IP address so we know how we can connect. So there's a, <clears throat> we're just waiting how to, or getting our information here, letting it boot up. Waiting a little more. Uh, typical as part of a installation process. Let's see how far are we? And there we go. Okay, so now we have to set up a couple of things. Um, authentication, we're fine. Uh, we'll do our firewall configuration because I want to just turn it all off because sometimes firewalls are annoying. <laughs> so, and I'll also turn off SE Linux because that's also another thing that's sometimes a little annoying as well. Uh, hit a, uh, exit, root, and we'll get our, all right, so 192, all right, that's easy enough. And then we will disconnect from this machine. Oops, didn't want to do that. Ah, that's right. We'll go in uh, this way. We'll type in ssh root at 192.168.0.99. Uh, there's actually a reason why we want to do this, and that's because we don't have a yum repository uh, set up yet. So we'll cat yum repository zend, and I'll just take this and I'll copy it. Dot repository zend dot repo. Paste that in there. Yum install zend server. So what this will do is it'll then uh, uh, download and install from Zend, hopefully not a whole bunch of other stuff, um, the Zen server uh, binaries here. Which it'll probably decide to do a whole bunch of updates, but uh, we'll wait and see. Oh yeah, it decided to do a whole bunch of stuff. 74 megs, all right, we'll see. That shouldn't take too much time. Uh, we'll see how long the installation process takes. Um, but it is the only thing running on the system right now, so it should be relatively quick. Downloading uh, mod PHP Lighty, those are all still Zen server uh, types of applications or packages. Yeah, so of course it takes a little bit of time. Framework. Internationalization. Waiting for it. Let's see what's our time look like. All right, so far we are at uh, 15 and a half minutes for, uh, <laughs> for installing Zen Server Cluster Manager, uh, installing uh, a brand new operating system on a guest host, and this will probably take about a minute and a half or so. Hopefully not too long. So uh, we'll just uh, wait here and I'll keep the stopwatch running, and we'll come back to you in a second. All right, we've got, it looks like, another three packages now to go. Installing uh, Zen Framework files on there. We'll see if we can get this done in under 20 minutes. There's a lot of files in Zen Framework. <laughs> All right. Restarting Zen Server. And it. I think we're good. Yeah, it's up and running. So what we'll do now 
is we'll go to 192.168.0.99 uh, port 10,081. And the only thing that we're going to do here is we're just going to enter in our password. We're not going to worry about uh, the license keys at this point. We'll let Zen Server Cluster Manager handle that. Right, so we have our node now up and running. So I will go over here, go to Cluster Setup, and add a server. Call it Zen1. Type that in, enter in the password, and add the server in. And let it restart the cluster and restart the PHP on there. And now we have a working instance of uh, Zen Server running in there, and we still have a couple minutes to go before 20 minutes. So thank you very much, and uh, that's how you get your system up and running to test uh, test drive Zen Server Cluster Manager. Thank you very much. Talk to you later.